Hey everyone, it's Tim from Motion VFX. You asked, and we delivered. We finally have a lower thirds pack for DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, there's a lot of these little guys just hanging, oh, hanging around here. <laughs> and they're certainly excited to show this really cool ah, M lowers bar pack. So without further ado, let's check out some of these lower thirds and see how you can use them. And once you install M lowers bar, you can go right up to the effects tab and resolve. And with toolbox highlighted, you can use the search bar and just type in M lowers and that'll show all 50 of the lower thirds that you have access to. And alternatively, you can just go to the titles, go under motion VFX and scroll down to M lowers bar and they will all show up there as well. Now these lower thirds are really simple to use, but also have a lot of flexibility and operate very similarly to each other. So let's just bring in number four here. And if we preview this, we can see we get a slightly glitchy, but also very aesthetically pleasing text. And the customization is very easy. If we select our lower third and go up into our inspector, we can see we have a number of controls here. If we go to our title, we can change the text to whatever we want. And if we decide we didn't want the bars, we could even enable and disable them pretty easily. Same with the subtitle controls. If we go down and we can remove that bar as well. So if we wanted to just remove both bars, we could easily just uncheck those, set the color of both texts to white. And then if there's any extra elements like lines or crosses, we can find those controls in here as well. And we can change that to white in this instance. And now we have a clean white look. Or maybe I want to just keep the bar on the bottom. I can just enable that and that makes it super easy. And just to show how similar the controls are, let's just go ahead and go down to the number 36 here. I'm just going to overwrite that one. We can see our controls are very similar, except we have corners instead of lines. We can enable and disable those. We can change colors here if we want to remove the subtitle bar and keep it just a black box. And let's go ahead and just change the title controls to white as well. And if we play that back, we get a nice clean look. And we'll just go ahead to another one. Let's just try 13 as an example. And let's say we wanted to change the size of the bars. We could either do that on an individual basis by going to title controls and changing the scale of one of them. And I'll go ahead and bring down this line thickness so it's just on the bottom here. And then we can go into our subtitle controls, change the scale of that individually as well. And we can change this bar thickness as well. Or if we wanted to change both of them at the same time and keep them uniform, we can use the content scale. And that scales the entirety of the plugin as well. You can also toggle the middle animation on and off. If you decide you just want an intro and outro, you can just keep that untoggled. And it only plays the intro and outro bits as opposed to toggling the middle animation on and it'll play either small animations or glitches or other sorts of animations in between the intro and outro. Now in some instances we have shots that have some sort of character to them that we might want to incorporate into the lower third as well or title depending on how you're using it. So a good example of this if I go ahead and just bring in let's bring in 35 because it's a simple example. I'm just going to move this title over and up. And if we zoom into this area, we can see there's a decent amount of book and then we might want to incorporate and keep and texturize the title. So what we can do is with the effect selected, we can just go to settings and then under composite, we can change it. In this instance, we're going to change it to soft light, depending on if there's noise that you want to incorporate or other factors. Hard light is also a good option if you don't have pure white and or black titles as hard light doesn't affect those colors but it can have more of a dramatic effect on everything in between. And then we can go back to our title and we're just going to go to graphics controls and then we can just play with the box color and just move the luminance up and down to see what kind of character, how much character we want to allow through. For this last example, we're going to take a look at what it would look like if we tracked one of these to the footage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in bar 44 here. And just to match the green, I'm just going to really quick switch the color of the title a bit. Let's just make it a similar type of green there. And before I even move this, I'm actually just going to go ahead and go into Fusion. And there's a few ways that we can approach tracking this. But the simplest way we're going to do it is we're actually going to press Shift Space 
and type in media in. We're just gonna go ahead and add a media in. Just make sure you have your lowers bar selected when you add it so that it automatically merges. And then on the merge, just press control T and that'll flip the lower third into the foreground and the media in into the background. With the media in selected, we're gonna go up to our media source and set it to background so that we can see the footage behind it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our graphic and we're going to go to content controls, right click on content position, go to modify with and tracker position. And then we can go into our modifiers and then we have to make sure that tracker source is our media in. So we just click and drag the media in node up to that. So now the tracker knows that we're using this footage as the source of what we're trying to track. So let's go ahead and move the tracker to a nice high contrast point. But we want it to be on this car somewhere. And there aren't that many good spots. So we might just have to expand our range here and we'll see how this does. Okay, hey, that look pretty good. Let's go ahead and Go back to our original frame, double click track one and track reverse. Okay, that looked pretty good. So now if we need to move where we want this positioned, we can just go into our X and Y offset and move it accordingly. And if we preview it back, we can see it hovers right over the car very cleanly. These titles are very simple to use and have a lot of flexibility and are just really well designed. These lower thirds allow for so much individual control over just about every aspect of the design that you can think of. I would definitely encourage you to play around with some of these as well to get the feel for exactly what you want your stuff to look like. These lower thirds just add so much ease to being able to control the aspects of the design and make them really fun to use as well. And this is just the first of many lower third packs to come. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Check out our website and check out this pack. Let us know what you think. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are using this for. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.